family and YouTube friends. Um, Hurricane Ida has come and gone. And yes, uh, in Louisiana, it did wreak havoc. But thank God, me and my family, we all made it through. So I am grateful for that. Uh, what I find very ironic is that I cut my travels short and came back home because during these the hottest months you know in July my birthday month I was out having a great time decided to come back home so that I could uh, sit out the hottest part of the summer <laughs> and uh, yeah turns out I was in the heat anyway literally just got uh, electricity in the sticks and bricks yesterday have been without it since August 29th yeah but on the bright side when the water went out when everything was happening I had my van so I already had a toilet system set up I mean I didn't have the worries that some people might have had when dealing with how we're going to use the uh, the bathroom and not being able to flush and things like that. And also, I didn't have to worry about how to keep my phone or even my little tablet uh, charged. Uh, sometimes at night, things would get a little dicey. My battery would run down some on the phone and the tablet. And sometimes I would run a card from my Jackery. But I only had a Jackery 500, so you could only use the... I always forget what that is. Is it the AC plug? Where you plug in as if you plug it into a house? You can only use that so long while running a fridge and charging USB fans like I was doing. You can only do that for so long without running the battery really low. At night anyway. But it would always recharge during the day because I have 200 watts of solar on the uh, van uh, roof. Anyway. Yeah, but... Um, everything's going well. There's a lot of devastation. There are a lot of people who are still without electricity and have a long way to go to even have their homes habitable. Um, I must say the home uh, in Metairie, it did well. Um, just, a, just a few shingles off the roof. Um, but it was habitable. Just very hot. No electricity. And um, even the other property we had to check on one of them had major damage and that's what's been keeping me busy just doing work on it and getting people to do the work um you know in the heat so it's it's been a bit much but still grateful and even with the property in mississippi had to go up there and have a worker go up there with me and we had to get up on the roof and replace some shingles because some have been blown off I didn't see any homes in my area that were untouched. And there are some areas where roofs are totally gone, so, and much worse. So, just a little check in. Um, decided to go grab me some Chipotle. There was a Chipotle open, and um, I wanted to do that. And I'm just going to rest today because my body is aching. Oh. While in the dark house, I fell. You know, I'm a veteran. I have a little injury. And, you know, wasn't paying attention. And that injury, well, it started with my ankle. I slipped and fell. I was in the dark. And thank God it was not more serious. But my body is screaming. It's aching. I'm tired. And I am literally just going to rest today. I didn't even feel like standing up at the stove cooking anything today. That's just how tired I am. I went and got some takeout and I'm just gonna go in and eat and relax. That's it for my check-in. I will do more on my van renovation. I did a small little thing in the in the uh, video before this because man, it. Oh, I just love the fact that I cut the bed down it gave me more room to do things with. But then the hurricane 
we had the hurricane warning category four it's it was really a category five it was only two miles per hour um two miles per hour under a category five category five is 157 miles an hour it came on land at 155 miles an hour but a lot of the gadgets that we have that measure the speed in those areas said it was much um, stronger than that and then of course with the wind gust it was a whole lot stronger than that so yeah okay that's it for my little update today I'm gonna have to rest because <laughs> I've been exhausted and I don't, I don't know if you all can see it I had my hair in plaits for about three weeks straight and I thought I was about to have dreads. So I just took him, took it down this morning and just kind of said, you know, just, just to give my hair a chance to breathe before I end up plaiting it again. Because when you're working in the heat, what are you going to do? All right. Family, YouTube, friends, until next time. Bye.